This is Dr. Brendan McCarthy. I am the Chief Medical Officer at Protea Medical Center. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is just a quick Q&A response. Um, you guys, when you write me responses, um, Instagram and YouTube or wherever else, I want you to know I look at them. I do my best to keep up with them, and uh, they help me a lot, more than you know. It helps guide me in the way I create more material. It helps me understand what it is that you're looking for, and, and that feedback means a lot to me because I want to be of service. I'm not here trying to like, you know, some people will come into these things and they just want to sit here and just tell you how great they are, how smart they are, all these other words. That literally has nothing to do with why I'm doing this. And I know some of my patients watch this and you know this is me, all right? This is me. I love doing it. I love this work. I, I love being of service. I love the before and after. This is what makes me happy. This is what makes me tick. This is my joy in life. And um, when you comment and when you give feedback, that helps me get better at this. And I, that's nothing, there's nothing better than that for me. So when you write these, sometimes the questions that come out are so important that I want to make sure I don't just respond to it in the, 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 the site, like in Instagram in this case. I, I want to make sure I make an actual video specific for it so that other people can see it. So, you know, the producer and I had a, a good conversation regarding this and our goal now with this, with these Q&A ones, these Q&A little videos, we want to make a playlist of just questions and answers. So that way, if you have a question, you just go to that playlist and just scroll through it and see if it's already been answered. And that would, I think, be helpful because we just start indexing those answers in there. So let's see how this goes. So this is going to be the second video because I already did one once. It was a brief one, but this is, this is going to be more targeted now. So I think they'll get a more specific moving forward. So here goes. The first one, uh, I had a patient asking me very specifically about delivery mechanisms of testosterone. She was asking me about the ways of getting into the body and, and how, what's the safety of it? And, and you know, she was excited because she found a doctor who would prescribe and who would run labs every six months. And that's awesome. You know, to have a doctor you work hand in hand with who's going to make it safe and do it safe is beautiful. So my feedback to you is this. Your doctor wants to only prescribe topical. I get that. And I want to say that I don't in practice. Literally, I literally never prescribe topical. Does that mean that topical is terrible? No, it just means that there are a lot more risks with it that need to be managed. That can be managed. This doesn't mean don't do it. It just means we really need to watch for those risks and be as smart as possible regarding them. Specifically testosterone. Topical testosterone, our goal with testosterone, let me back up there. Our goal with testosterone in a woman is to get the free levels of testosterone between 2.0 and around 4.6, right in that neighborhood. And, and when it goes too high for that free testosterone, it's going to start converting into too much dihydrotestosterone as it cause more side effects than what we really want in those patients. It's our goal is not to allow those side effects to happen. So that free level of testosterone is really important to treat. Now, when I give a woman to topical testosterone, it's on the skin and it has to go through every layer of epithelia, which is all those little cells on your skin, all the way through it, all the way through, until it gets to the blood vessel and then it gets into circulation. Every layer of skin, every cell it goes through to get down to your blood vessels, it's going to be more and more converted from testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Every layer it goes through, you're going to have that testosterone being preferentially converted to dihydrotestosterone. When you give a woman topical testosterone and you run her lab work for just the free testosterone, it may look beautiful. It may look great. Her free testosterone, 2.6. She feels wonderful. We're good. Where it's essential is we run that dihydrotestosterone. Your body makes dihydrotestosterone and that's normal and it's healthy, you're supposed to have it. When you're doing the topical though, you're going to get supra physiological levels of dihydrotestosterone that are not consistent 
with the blood for the free testosterone. What that means, your free testosterone is 2.5, 2.6, 2.8. Your dihydrotestosterone should be 10, 12, maybe, right? But if it's topical, it's going to be 80, which is a lot for a man. When I saw a woman recently who was getting topical testosterone, her free testosterone was 2.8. Fine. We liked it. It was good. Her dihydrotestosterone was 79, which is higher than I like it for men. Dihydrotestosterone elevations cause hair loss. They cause clitoromegaly. They cause oily skin. They cause vocal cord thickening when it's too high. This can become permanent. It can be so confusing on your part, and I know it. And it can become so stressful on your part. I know that too. Because you're like, I found a doctor who's going to treat me. And this is what I want. And now I'm sitting here throwing cold water on it. I'm not saying don't do topical. I'm saying you've got to run the dihydrotestosterone lab along with your free testosterone to make sure you're not hyperconverting it to create more side effects long term that would cause more problems than you wanted. I, I hope that was a benefit. And and um, moving forward, the best option for testosterone, in my opinion, is to do injectable or pellet. There are risks with those as well, but it's much less than the topical. So I hope that helps. And uh, again, I will keep looking for comments in the uh, the video section, in the, the comment section. I'll look for your comments. And ones that are really important, I'll keep bringing up. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.